Welcome, thanks for joining me today. My name is Phil Cornforth and I'm the Operations Manager and Utilities Damage Prevention Expert for Before You Dig New Zealand. Anyway, you're joining me today so I can give you a walkthrough of our system called Plan Access and Plan Access 360. So these are some really clever tools that you can use in addition to the Before You Dig. And what these do is they collect your utility responses into a single downloadable job pack. Or if you use Plan Access 360, you can integrate an API with your own works management systems so you can submit your before you dig inquiries from your system and then you can also receive your utility plan responses back using an api out of plan access 360 into your own systems to collate all the utility plan responses so really it's a really clever time saving tool that you can use in addition to the free before you dig service so what i'm going to do today is i'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of how it uh, works in conjunction with before you dig and then how you see those utility plan responses and then how you download a job pack. So first things first, I'm gonna give you a quick example of submitting a job here for before you dig. So no different to normal. So I'll put my job, start and end date, my user reference. So that could be a PO number. Okay, I am not going to ask for a utility locate today because I'm just carrying out a test job. And then we're going to say we are doing that at 1A Wagner Place, which is my office location. So here we go. We see the, uh, see the car park here. So I'm going to draw my dig site now. So I'm just going to say I'm digging up the car park there. Click next, confirm the address. So that's all good. And then notes and description of works. Uh, so this is a test job. So you would put in there whatever type of work you're doing. Click submit. Right, and what we're seeing now, we're seeing confirmation that the job's been submitted and then the different asset owners that are at this location. So in this case, um, I've got five so i've got chorus i've got uh, vector comms vector electricity vector gas and water care um so you know you can have up to um 11 or 12 uh, utility owners if you're working in a cbd location and all of these asset owners without plan access these will all be responding separately into your own um into your own email inbox so it's going to look something a bit like this you'll still get your um you'll still get your um before you did confirmation into your email and what will happen is once all of those plans have been collected into um, into plan access, you will then also receive a uh, job pack is ready. So you receive that email, you receive one single email, and then you just click here to log into the um, uh, to log into the plan access, um, the plan access um, dashboard. So let me just show you what the dashboard looks like. So I click on responses and then should load in a moment. There we go. There it's loaded. So there's a couple, few jobs that I've put through today already. So a few test jobs. So I've put one on in Auckland CBD. Um, this is one that I did just a, uh, just 15 minutes ago. So you can see that's collected four out of the five plan responses. And then the job that I've just put through now. So at the moment, nothing's been received. Um, so you get a status indicator here, whether the job is ready or not. Uh, a bit like a traffic light system. So green is for go, I've got all my plans, and then you've got amber, you've received some plans, but you're also waiting, and then you've got red, so you've received no plans at all. Um, so in the case of a um, of this one here, so let's take a look at Hobson Street, because we've uh, received all of those plan responses there already, and then there we go. So these are all the different responses received, and you can open those up. It tells you when that response was received. Um, you can also, there's some other clever tools that you can do this. Um, so you can actually add on there, you can add on uh, responses of your own. So if you want to put your own documentation with those particular plan requests, um, you can do that. Uh, you can download the plan request on its own, or you can download them all as a bundle using this button here. And then you've also got a notes, um, a notes button here. So I can actually add in there um, some extra, extra notes. And I can also upload documentation as well. So I could put in there if I wanted to 
Um, so my project pack, um, I could, could put some project plans in there of my own. Um, I could put in a um, excavation permit um, and any other health and safety documentation. And then when you click download bundle, that um, all of that documentation will also be um, will also be downloaded. So just showing you how that works. So we'll click on download bundle now. Yes, download it to my old own disk drive. And then it should just arrive in a moment. And then there we go. And then there is a copy of the um, of the folder there. And these are all the different utility responses. Uh, so each um, each document that is attached uh, comes with its comes with its own um, PDF attachment that you can then download. So plans exactly the same. No no change to the plans. It just means that you can download them all in a single um, in a single job pack. And as I say, in terms of using Plan Access 360, uh, so that is where you're using the APIs. Uh, so you would do your before you dig inquiry as normal as you, as you saw me do, um, but you would actually do that in your own works management systems and using the API that injects the job into before you dig. Um, it then processes it as normal. And then if you're using the API with plan access 360 um, to collect your utility responses, those utility responses using the API will then go into your own works management system. So really, really, really clever tools. Um, that you can use to cut down on um, the amount of resources and work uh, that you need to put into those job packs. Also, once all those plans are received, you get the green light, you get the email that you're ready that you're ready to go. Um, and it cuts down on the amounts of errors as well. So we always hear about jobs where a contractor will get to site, um, somebody will get to site, they're ready to start digging, and then actually they realize that they don't have all their plans um in in their job job folder pack and then they have to go back to the office and start again so this eliminates all of that so really it means that you've got uh, once you get that email you've got 100 percent of your plans and you're then ready to go uh, to get out onto site anyway so i hope that explains to you a bit about um, plan access and plan access 360. Um, it is an additional bolt-on service um, so this is that uh, one that you as the excavator do pay for um, so if you want to, um, if you want to subscribe to it, um, you can get in touch with us through our website, um, or you could give us, give us a call. All right. So I hope that's explained everything. Thanks very much. Goodbye.